Good morning, and welcome back to the Little Skittle Show. <laughs> I stayed at the Jackalope Motor Lodge and decided, you know what? I'm also going to just stay in the moment. I'm not going to worry about recording anything. I'm going to enjoy the company of hikers because I've been solo. So I got to see Gusha and Mushka and Boomerang. I haven't seen Boomerang since the PCT. I got to meet Breeze, who's from Washington, and Roman. And I got to see Wingnut. So it was really nice to just be in the moment and be kind of like in a social environment again with hikers. But I am back on the Pole Creek, or not Pole Creek, Seneca Lake Trail, about 10 miles back to the PC, or PCT, the CDT, and on to Du Bois. Very excited. Let's get back to showing you some of the CDT beauty. So this is one of the most amazing views I saw on my way into Pinedale. I could not wait to get back with my phone to show you. Like what? Oh my gosh. Isn't it amazing? And just like that, I am back at Seneca Lake in three hours. It's really good timing. So, it's beautiful. Let's take a look. This is the spur trail that will take you to Knapsack Coal and Gannett Peak if you so choose to conquest that, go for it. <laughs> I am not. Um, I heard from Half Mile Jin that it is sketchy. He did do it. He did summit. But um, yeah, spikes needed, ice axe needed, very, very steep descents with snowfields. So, we're going to go red line. I will forever come to these river crossings and approach them and hear them and think, no, 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 no. But then there's a bridge. I'm like, oh, yes, 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 yes.
see some hikers on the far side of the lake, right near the water level. Partially frozen, partially thawed, alpine beauty. Okay, today has been so fun. <laughs> Besides being super slippery because of the mud, it's all wet, snow melt. Um, slapping around in puddles all day and views like this. Like, what, what's to complain about? Today is absolutely stunning. The videos and the photos I'm attempting to take of this area will do it zero justice. Like this place is, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. Like it is so beautiful up here. And the, the peaks are just insanely gorgeous. Jagged, dotted with some snow meadows, lakes. It's absolutely stunning up here. It really is. If you ever get the chance, do, do this area. How nice to have my phone back. I can actually show you guys the beauty of the CGT. Who would have thought that I was gonna to try to push all the way to Du Bois without fixing my phone? I almost thought about it. That would have sucked because this stretch was absolutely mind blowing, much like the winds. And if I wouldn't have been able to capture it, it would have broke my heart. I know I'm trying to be like in the present, listen to the universe, but yeah. Anyways, I met up with some friends today. We have stuck back here. We have Stoke over here, and then we have Peppermint in the duplex. I met them right around lunchtime, uh, right after Seneca Trail joined with the CDG. We had dinner together, and now we're gonna camp together because I don't know how many more opportunities I'm gonna get to camp with people. So I'm gonna soak it in. Gonna take an early night tonight, it's so 7.40, and rise early tomorrow grind away. I'm trying to get to Highway 26. I'm hoping by Wednesday, but it might be Thursday. So, good night.